Let's graph the linear equation for y equals 2x plus 7. And we're going to do this two ways. We'll first use a table of values for the graph of y equals 2x plus 7. And then we'll check our work with slope intercept formula. So let's put some values in. We can really put any values in, but we want to kind of put things in that are going to show up on our graph. So we have to be kind of strategic here. Why don't we just say 1? We'll start off with 1 here. 2 times 1, that's 2. 2 plus 7, that gives us 9. We could also put 0. That's always a good one. 2 times 0, that's 0. So 0 plus 7 is just 7. How about negative 1? 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. Plus 7, we get 5. So these are the points that we're going to graph for the linear equation y equals 2x plus 7. So let's start off. We have x is 1, y is 9. So x is 1, and we go all the way up here to the top. So we almost went off our graph paper here. Then we have 0 for x and 7 for y. That's where we cross the y-intercept. And then negative 1 and 5. And you can see that these points, they're all in a line. We could have used two points, but if you use three and you make a mistake somewhere, you'll catch it. Let's put a line through this. Then we could put arrows to show that this does go to infinity. So that's the graph for y equals 2x plus 7. If we put other points in, they'd all be on the line here. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So if y equals mx plus b, b is the y-intercept. That's 7. So that's where we're going to cross the y-axis. So all we have to do is go to the y-axis here and find 7. And right there, that's where we cross. It kind of makes sense. And then 2 is the slope. But it's helpful to call this 2 over 1. And we can call it rise over run. So we're going to go to our y-intercept here, rise 2, 1, 2, and go over 1. And we could keep going that way, but we're kind of out of space. So why don't we do the opposite? Why don't we go down 2 and over 1 this direction? Down 2 and over 1. So we just reverse directions. And we can keep doing this all the points. They'll be on the line. That means we did this first part right when we graphed the equation y equals 2x plus 7. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.